Solitary wasps that burrow into the sand hold a special significance for me ever since I read a wonderful book by Nicholas Tinbergen called The Curious Naturalist. Among other fascinating behaviors, he describes how females, after leaving their burrows, make reconnaissance flights to memorize nearby landmarks. When the wasps return, they use the landmarks to help locate the entrance of their nest. The sand wasps I observed in Florida exhibit the same behaviors. Another signature behavior of the wasp is excavating a nest in sandy soil. This requires methodically sweeping sand out of a long tunnel, and on occasion removing the sand that has piled up at the entrance of the nest. At the end of the tunnel, a nursery chamber is built. How can a single wasp move so much dirt? It helps that evolution has provided the wasp with front legs that are well designed for sweeping sand. After watching the wasps, I noticed that when a nest is under construction, the builder typically backs out of the burrow. In contrast, when the nest has been completed, a wasp exits head first. Soon after her nest is finished, a female begins capturing and paralyzing prey to stash in the nursery chamber. Once the chamber is filled, a female lays a single egg on one of her paralyzed victims before closing off the nest. A sealed nest, however, isn't a guarantee that her offspring will survive. Unfortunately, some wasps, when arriving with prey, are ambushed by flies that attempt to lay their own eggs on the wasps' provisions. If a fly succeeds in laying its eggs, a race begins between the offspring of the wasp and the fly. Only one species is likely to emerge from the burrow.